from Planet Earth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Woo, 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 woo. You made it to come here. Stop the music right now. I created a deck. It's the Mech Cycle. Without eggs or anything but standard. This is new. This above human knowledge. But of course, it's not finished yet. And with the finishing, I need your help. Yeah, you. You can help me. So let's see the opening hand. We don't need you. I don't need you. Okay, so on the right side, you see our deck, and this is the basic. So I, what I ask you, you don't have to do it, but I we ask you, if you have any tips, strength. suggestions, or anything about this deck, say it in the comment section okay. below, and say it nicely and stuff, and then we can brainstorm together, and I make another video then with that updated version, and of course, you may, may play it yourself as well, you can do that my basic part and then we can both develop and increase and go to the legend and stay above the human nation okay, okay. so I saw explain you a little bit well through the game how the deck mindset is and then later with that mindset the information I gave you you can adjust and say something in the comment section below okay so let's see go to the right side there is the deck and we have double Kindle and hunter mark just average clear minions and clear big minions mega rule double for something on turn one and of course it's a mech so with other magne oh magnetics you can link them they're all kind of trash actually Double Cybertech chip, this is basically the key card of the, the deck with Spark Engine and um, and Unleash the Hounds and Replicating Menace and Giggling Inventor, all that type of minions. You get a lot of board, low minions obviously, and then you do a Cybertech chip I on wonder. it. So he actually playing in Doomsayer. We can throw this Replic replicating menace on the field and then it dies and I we get through micro boss but the next mm -hmm. turn we cannot really link yeah we can learn link in war gear actually but yeah and then attack with yeah we can do it that actually 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 shall we do that yes woo we going do it we throw four drop on the field yeah yeah so the mindset is basically with, for example, you have an Ox uh, Paladin or something, a lot of board on the field, you throw your Unleash the Hounds, you let your dogs go straight to the opponent and then they go going to fight each minion, but beforehand you do a cyber attack check. And then you get a completely full hand with minions, because Hunter is the worst class on planet Earth with card draw. That's why we create and be smart and we outthinking the system like for example with a cult master as well we do not have a hunter mark now so we can't actually uh, kill it the uh, the mountain giants but it isn't a problem i've solved it already so we place the hunt uh, cult master right now and we have one spare mana we throw this trash this is the worst taunt on planet earth but it is at least in taunt okay action. so now we fight the mountain giant and then we fight one more time and actually how many cards do we have we have seven we can do that and we get a mega rule very very nice well done system rng the rng gods are with us that's actually not a big deal it can happen we could get one more card actually so now we have multiple options as you can see in our hands right we have one dire franchise that's kind of weird you have zero zero stuff in your deck i explain you a little bit later but let's first see what we can do with this mountain giant so we have nothing rush in our hands right no we don't so we have six mana we can actually play just a meru kind of funny <laughs> yeah it's kind of funny and then we can do other stuff 
I think we just play a, a giggling to annoy him. <laughs> That's why you play this card, right? The giggling inventor. <laughs> hello, hello. And then you say with your hero portrait, greetings, traveler. And you end the turn. And now you see our hands. It seems like a complete garbage of collection of cards. But believe me, there's something power hidden in it. <laughs> he kills his own mountain giant. No problemo for us. No problemo. We already have another tactic. So we are on turn 7, okay? Okay, we are on turn 7. We can play a Deathstalker Rexer to, to open our zombie creation tool, but we can't do it this turn because of turn 7. We are not turn 8. So that's not the most proficient way, and we do only damage on this clown. We don't need. I think we just play a giggling again. Yeah, we playing giggling again. Yeah, we playing giggling again. And let's see how many cards do we have. We have seven and if we play this card, we do have six in our hand. So we throw it now. We could also wait for a little bit more on the board and then throw it. But we already have our De Deathstall Corrector. I think this is the right timing. Yeah, I think this is the right timing. So we place it. Cyber Pack Chef. Cyber Pack Chef. And we end the turn again. So now he has like, hmm, they're all infested by Cybertruck Chef. We get three more cards back and a nice defense. Very nice. The other cards we do have in our hands are a useless Rusty Recycler. No, it's not useless. If you link something on this card, you do get a lot of lifesteal. And what is Hunter lagging in his, in his class? Lifesteal or health, anything in particular. So we do have a very nice play there. We can kill this one very easy and actually we can kill them both actually but we can kill at least one of them oh we can kill them both actually we can kill them both okay so we do this on this one <laughs> annoyed one is even more annoying and now he kills the big black king or how is it called death knight bye bye <laughs> we can even clear the other sun if we need, if we need. I think there's the zero threat. I think I just set up my Deathstalker Rexar. Of course I can kill it with Spider Bomb. Is it necessary? No. Do we play more stuff, very strong minions later on? Yes, he do. So we keep our Spider Bomb. It's not for nothing, it's called like Spider Bomb. It should be like Terran 2 Lab Bomb. So we still do get three more cards from the field and we do have one with poison. 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 And of course, this is the weird part I gonna explain you now. Dire Frenchy. Hello, I am Dire Frenchy. One Dire Frenchy, it seems ridiculous, but with the nice card draw we created together, we can now we can do it or on an unleash the hound. That's one mana. Put it on it. Then you have three more in your deck for four mana, one, um, one mana, four damage, four, four with charge. It's in your deck. Very strong for one mana, obviously. Now you see the opponent. He's trying to balalaika us. I don't like, I don't like. So um, we can create something. Draw five secrets from your deck. Now, the stats are quite bad for five mana and we don't have any secrets. This seems kinda, mm hmm, kinda, mm hmm. And this seems uh, very nice. And play the beetle with armor. Uh, very nice. Uh, with Wind Fury, we don't actually do much with that. With Tiger, it could be nice. But I think I, I take I take the poison. So if you have some other mindset, I should maybe take the string on Tiger. Satan is actually below up again. So maybe we play it. Let's quickly look. Let's quickly look. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. I think we play this and then we have four left and we do link a magnetic participation for elimination. And we attack this one to get one more card. I a minute aside. Even this deck gonna fail, I even gonna show the video. I want to lose actually. I want to lose actually. And you know why? Your because you and me together with our brain, we create this deck. 
Two legends. Yeah, two legends. We can do this. I feel the power in this deck. <laughs> oh, aye, aye. A minute, I say. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's time to stop this sweet nonsense. So he did silence our uh, bronze gatekeeper. That's kind of sad. We have 13 health, okay? We have a very nice collection of cards. So for example, we have one beast here with poison. It's not done though. So if we use it, we don't do actually because it has zero rush. This one is in taunt for mana, a very nice. But we do have also a taunt laugh steal. And that would be very handy in my particular thinking. So we can do that actually. Uh, we can link another 4 health on it with Divine Shield. Pretty, pretty neat, pretty nice. We can also do a Spider Bomb, so when he kills his, we get Lifesteal and one more I other minion is dying. Him. No, we have not enough damage to do that uh, combination. Hmm. 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 I think we should link this. Now we have two tons, that's even better, in my opinion. The only downside is the life steal one is not much damage. But now, if he could get passed through with a silence targeting, we are not dead. We have still one second ton. So even we do fail in this game, I gonna still post it on my channel. And you, 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 all the viewers, with Uchiha Mimama from another nation. But you guys are from planet Earth. You know that, right? Hi, hi. No, but together we can, for example, you say like, put that around. This put this. That's completely garbage. If you do this, we can maintain higher stability in our participation. And then I say, uh, of course, fewer, of course. It could be higher standards of participation. No, okay, but uh, I think I think this is a pretty nice deal. This I think very popular deck for opponent, but we creating our new meta. Believe me. Oh no, this is complete shit. Ah. Oh, the fuck is happening? This is actually not a very good actually. If we do this one, we kill one minion. Hmm. Hmm. If we can something charge, we can spider bomb. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, we can't charge something. We do have poison with armor, but we can't taunt it up. So maybe, for example, you guys say like, put an Argus into it, Defender of Argus, to get more minions with taunt. Would be very nice. I think we do need to create something. Eight mana we currently have charge, because you can link something on it. And then I think the potion would be nice. So that's a total of 5 mana, and maybe we linking it with a spider bomb. <laughs> do we do that? Or do we throw a Golmizer and a uh, weapon? I think we do need to tank it. So actually, you need to kill two minions to kill this minion, and one more minion is dying. So theoretically, Three out of five is gonna die, I think, I think. Maybe he has something on his sleeve, you don't know. Maybe in silence and then we are completely doomed. But believe me, this deck has some potential. If we put maybe, for example, I'm already thinking of a Defender of Argus, for example. The I think that would be really helpful. And we also, ah, see this very annoying. No, 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 no. We are dead, we are just dead. Oh no, we are just dead. No! Guys, people from planet Earth, welcome. Thanks for watching. That's obviously one thing. But I want to say one more time, I gonna post this video. It's a lose. I know it. Bad play of me, bad, bad combination of cards. This is just the basics of the card deck. We gonna create the community Hearthstone players, the viewers that watch this video with me, 
we can make a new deck. We can try to improve. I think the deck has potential. Maybe I can say you, okay, a couple of things. Uh, I do a quick explanation, my mindset, and then you can adapt on that mindset and say like things, you need a defender of Argus, for example. I'm already thinking of it to need a defender of Argus, but we shall see, okay? Double candle shot, double hunter mark, very nice. Kill low minions, for example, for the paladins, or kill big minions in combination with hunter mark. The Megaru, very nice, and one minion, uh, one mana minion. You play it, you can link a magnetic on it the next turn, and then you can immediately attack and then do something. And when it dies, it pops out another mech, okay? And then you have more mechs on the field, for example, for the Cult Master. But okay, the Cybertech chip, for example, very nice. Maybe we do need a little bit more like Gigglings and Fentras, you know? If you have Giggling and Fentras, and maybe two more minions and you put a cyber tech chip on it you do get five mech minions so a lot of value okay very nice two venomizer now nah, i'm doubting about that, about that it's nice you can place minion on the field already you can link it and kill it could be nice could also just put it out so think about that shall we put it in or put it out the sparkle engine it's a weird weird car the two mana two one and you get two more mackies okay so more means on the field for our cult master our car draw okay the cult masters the two cult masters and the two cyber check is basically our car draw okay how do we obtain the car draw in with that that's because of hunting hounds so opponent has a complete board filled with minions or whatever it has and then hunting at least hounds you maybe sometimes place first the kill master and then hunting hounds because you can otherwise not place your hunting uh your kill master but then you can trade it and even you can maybe infest it with cyber tech chip that's basically that's if you really want to do that's in turn nine but then you're completely full but that's a little bit too much that's not needed okay the stone hill defenders in my opinion they are kind of a little bit out of the play. They are nice, of course. You get a low minion taunt, for example, against paladins or very aggression minions. You can block that a little bit and you can even get another card out of it. Maybe in death knight or, or just in health taunt, but mostly they are not mech. So could be nice in the deck, but also it could be get out of the deck. So think about that as well and say it in the comment section below. Other things, the Unleashed Hounds, very nice. I played first with two. Yeah, also did the work very nice because of the more cult, cult monster stuff. You get an insane draw with two, but a little bit too much. The Dire Frenzy is the kind of weird part in this deck. Of course, if you play the Unleashed Hounds, there, then you have like doggies or doggies from one mana with charge. And if you play in Dire Frenzy on it, you do get four, four for one mana, three in your deck and that plus minion as well. It's very strong, one mana out of your deck, charge for one mana for damage for health. It's very nice, but otherwise, if we have a lot of cards or anyway, because of the cyber tech chips and the cycle with the cult masters and the, then don't need that dire French that much. So theoretically it could get out of the deck, but hey, here, Death Stalker Rexer we also have. And when we create something special on Death Stalker Rexer, for example, on Taunt or or uh, something with lifesteal taunt or anything. And then we can buff it with Dire Frenzy and put it back in the deck. It could be very, very strong one. But it also could get out of the deck. So say your mindset in the comment section below. Sorry to, that I say it too much, but say it in the comment section below and then we can brainstorm together with this. Maybe you're not the only one that's recommenting on the video. So the other peoples, we can talk in the comment section, okay? So the Zilliax, very nice on all the mechanicals. You can link and then you get lifesteal. The Rusty Recyclers are kind of trash. They are 2-6, but you can link, they are mech. You can link them with other magnetic cards. Now, what are the mechanic cards in this deck? I shall say it quickly. One Zilliax, Wargear, bum, bum, bum. two Replicating Menace, two Spider Bomb, two Bronze Gatekeeper, to Venomizer, and that's the Magnetic. And maybe Magnetics out of the Cybertech chip, obviously. There's not much high cost damage. I maybe prefer to get the cards a little bit lesser with m lesser mana. Then we put maybe another Unleash the House to get insane cycle with low mana cards. And then we can maybe buff. For example, the Stone Hill Defender could be nice with Tons, but we could also put it out and maybe place it with a Serenite Chain Gang. And then you think, why is Serenite Chain Gang? It is an average 4 mana Taunt. It's actually pretty nice one. The reason why is 
you get two for four mana, yeah? And with two, with, for example, and you have already something more on the field, and then you place in a uh, cyber tech chip, you do get more mech out of, so more mechs in your hand, more customization to fight the opponent's cards, okay? Could be nice. So I think doubting to put out the Stonehill Defenders for Serenites, actually, because we already have a Bronze Gatekeeper on turn three anyway. That's magnetic and mech as well. And Stonehill Defender isn't, but uh, I felt like this should be maybe nice. What we could do maybe in Defender of Argus, very nice, or that's five mana me and with two, two, and then you give two on the Ancients, could be nice. Maybe another War Gear or or that mechanical weld on turn, uh, turn six mana. But I prefer to have a deck without activations from, uh, for death rattles. I prefer to put it out just to do something uh, something else than all the meta already is doing, you know? I want to create with you guys together something else. I also really like creating my own decks and I prefer even losing and have fun than over grinding and grinding to get legend. I never gonna quit Hearthstone till I get Legend, so no worry, I gonna do that as well. But also you need to have fun, that's the first priority in my opinion. So guys, if you like this deck, thump it up, say something in the comment section below, and otherwise I see you guys in the future. I don't know, bye bye.